Hey guys, welcome back. When doing computer forensics using autopsy, there are lots of interesting things that you can get in the extracted content area. One of these things um, is going to be uh, the operating system and the user accounts. This can help us know the system information in detail as well as the user information such as user ID, admin details and various different information that we can find out about the particular user. Let's start by clicking the operating system information on the tree pane and in the table pane you can see there are two rows which are software and system. Uh, just click the software to view the software information um, such as it's Microsoft Windows XP, um, the date and time uh, was installed, the path, the product ID and the owner of the software. You can also identify if this device um, was registered under any organization. In this case, I could clearly see it is registered uh, under Williamson Sons Incorporated. Um, you can view the system encrypted information um, in the source file metadata, such as um, you have the MD5 SHA-256 encrypted encryption. And uh, the date modified and the access date and everything. On the other hand, if you uh, double click the software, you could actually find the registry files such as SAM file, security file, software and system file. These are registry file which you could right click, um, you can extract it and then you can um, view it under Reg Ripper uh, to check the registry details. Okay, um, let's go back. Um, let me just minimize this. <laughs> it looks a bit confusing. Okay, now let's view the system information by clicking the system and you can see this system belongs to um, the user build basher and the version was uh, Windows NT, which is a Microsoft version released in 1993. Okay, so um, you may ask why is it Windows XP on the software and Windows NT on the system? Um, there is something you need to know is that the operating system is different than the system software. Um, how so? Let me explain. System software, which manages the resources and makes the interaction between a user and a machine possible. Operating system is a software which communicates with your computer hardware which provides a place to run applications. System software manages the system and it runs when it's required. When operating system manages the system as well as system software and it runs all the time. System software loads um, in main memory whenever required, where the operating system resides in the main uh, memory all the time while the system is on. Now, let's just carry on with this investigation. Um, we can, uh, since we know uh, the software information, let's go back to um, find the user information, which usually under operating system information, and if you cannot find it, it will be in a different section, which you can see is operating system accounts, where you can find the user um, informations. When you click the um, operating system accounts, as you could see, there are several accounts, but the one registered to the bill is the main user account. How do we know that? If you click the bill and see the details on the view pane. Um, sometimes if it's too small or if you can't view, you could always right click view in a new window. In this case, you can see that's a user bill, that's your uh, user ID, and that's the user creation date. And is he, in, is he the admin? Uh, true, it says here, he's the administrator. And he logged in 18 times on the computer and the last login date as well, you can see here. His password does not expire, so he doesn't need to change it often. And these are the um, system properties. So if I close this, 
Okay, so we have identified the main user account details. Now there are some other users. Let's just go and uh, see if it's relevant to the case. Uh, help assistant, it's a normal user account, but um, it's password protected, but it never logged in. Let's go for the support one. If you see this account is disabled, um, it also it does have a password and it's never been logged in but the account is disabled the administrator account has never been logged in but it's a it, it's an administrator it's true the password does not expire and it's a normal user account there is a guest user which if you see there is no login count because it's password not required that's why it doesn't show the login count and if you have a look it's the account is disabled it's a normal user account but it was disabled so therefore um, it might not be relevant to the case and um, that's everything for this video guys um, hope you understand how the user and operating system information can be retrieved using autopsy and um, thank you for watching